like. It's now going to be okay. Quick okay, very quickly. 37 professional games for Helsing on Pike. 70% win ratio. Incredibly impactful. Kobe, let's zoom out. Tell me what you see from these comps and how they want to win. I mean, when the Lee Sin came through to zone them off, now Niski under attack. He's got the flash available. We'll be using it. Gets the stun below 100. First blood goes to Mad Lions. Another disintegrate connects. Owner's waiting for the cooldowns. He's managed got the taste of fear. Down to 200. El Yoya goes away. Sonic wave in. It's a double for the Lions. You look at the bottom lane. Flash is not available for Guma. Niski's roaming down. Tibbers is up. And this minion wave is relatively strong. Kobe, I think they're setting up for a dive. They may not even need it. The feathers are available. It's El Yoya that snipes it. Now, all of a sudden, Owner's going to be the next target. A gigantic minion wave and they're carrier left alone underneath the power. What tastes purple, Hillis? Now into objectives and start stacking their dragons with the bottom pressure. Owner here is looking to steal it, though. Right, that's Owner hopping forward with that leap. Tibbers being helped out. Depth shots thrown, Dragon is helping out T1. Niski gets the shield, gets the pop on the head from Faker. T1 are on the board, flashing away to safety. El Yoya picks up the kill. Now Carrier is left foot. But given the amount of waves that have already been denied to him by Mad Lions, now the end of the world with this ganks works as well. Find out a level six on El Yoya. No flash available and Gumia has been jumped on. Will be donated to Kazi. 100% kill participation. That you've done for so much of the LEC. We're gonna see the Rift Herald fight though. Niski ult. Faker, no uh, flash available. He just gets run down. Also fall. Yeah, so if we calm down a little bit right now. I don't want to. With, with all of the hype, T1, this is again some more oh, no. damage control. Here we go, Hilly though. Oh no, has found Hilly and just destroys him. By the way, Dragon is still standing. So that's that first Drake of the game. It's been heavily delayed. Will not be one of those win conditions. Bone Skewer, sidestep, and Faker will get pulled backwards. He throws out the mine. The Tibbers is dropped. Faker's burning, burning. Dredge lining. Death from below as Mad Lions get another. If you don't love Hilly at his int, then you don't deserve Hilly at his kills here. Massive stuff from him. Bottom lane plays over and over and over. And that was our big question at the beginning out of Champ Select. He has been mid lane over and over here. He's making a big difference in the Faker matchup too. Getting some extra kills for Ness quick. They get the tower <laughs> as well. I mean, Mad Lions. They've had some very intelligent plays as well as a lot of extremely well executed plays here versus T1. And that's what you have to keep up. And what I love from Matt is how incredibly aggressive they are continuously playing. Because as you were saying, Kobri, T1, we're attempting damage control. Oh, damage control here. Time to go all out. And for strikes. Slicing Maelstrom. Chases below 200. The tower will not help. They smell it. They see what's happening. So they're backing away. No slicing Maelstrom for Chasey. Not many minions to work with for T1. Uses that lightning rush away. Gets the stun. Towers onto Zeus though. Owner's going a little bit low. Another stun connects. The tower, not enough. One last shot does it. It ends up being a one for one trade, but the tower difference on the bottom of your screen. What's that? Plus 2k just in the jungle. One five in the mid lane. One three in the bottom lane. <laughs> it's getting bigger. That's going to get even bigger. Their outer defenses so early in this game. Last outer tower right now being taken by Karzi. Not only is that a bunch of extra money into the Mad Lions carry here, but... Well, Chasey, bruh, feeding here for Mad Lions. <laughs> the only member that's only marginally ahead gets a lot of damage onto Ona. Wild growth, not necessarily needed, but all of a sudden, there's another setup. Faker gets the dredge line. There's not enough support coming from the rest of the squad. I mean, all three outer towers down before the average of the first tower here at MSI. Death from below is available. Death charge thrown out once again, using that hook to pull to safety. This is a two versus four flash forward. Hilly is going to need to dive, getting away for now. Down to 200 hit points, and Guma Gale forces forward. He gets the kill. Here comes Karthi. The feathers, they fly. That's one, that's two. The Mad Lions push T1 back. This might be in trouble here as well. well let's find out. Here we go. That's a great ward hop into the kick. Landing absolutely everything, and I mean, Zeus, just in a 2v1, what can you do? Surviving a lot longer than I was anticipating, and that is a tiny bit of hope, but the thing is, it Man, is... Kobe, you have a go. They definitely should not, because there's teleporter ready on Jay-Z, oh and he uses it now. All right, 3,000 hit points, 2,500, 1,500, it's secured by T1. Zeus is the immediate target. That's all of a sudden the Moonlight Vigil fight. T1 have belted through the hit points for now. They've stood toe to toe. Owner is forced away. Chasey finds him. Slicing Maelstrom, but it's at the cost of Nesquik's life. Four members of T1 going backward. They get the hook onto the little hamster. And what? the dash on onto Kazi. How the hell are T1 doing it? Oh. They managed to win the fight. Down 7,000 gold. Alyoya's running for.
for his life because he's trying to find time, trying to find the feathers. He's rooted up Faker. He Goodbye. needs one more, but he simply can't do it. Goma's the next target. Feather storm out. Kazi wants to close it out with the help of Alyoya. Somehow, Mad Lions bring it back from the jaws of Team Fight defeat, only for T1 to shut them right hey. down. This fight has gone on so long that Niski's been able to respawn and teleport back in. All of a sudden, Niski, can he catch Faker? Looking for the incinerate that disintegrate, but Faker's too tonky. Turns it around again. Zayus the next target. Depth charge again. What? Faker finally down. Niski running for his life, but it's T1. It's T1. This is mad. Still, that's where the big problem actually emerged. Bad Lions, though, they still have such a mad. Oh, oh but at what cost? That's Niski being caught out. He's taken down. The Moonlight Vigil as well. The amount of objectives that they have. And yeah. I think what's very crucial as well is we have to keep our eyes on those flashes. Had Chasey had flash in the dragon fight, he could have got that slicing maelstrom deeper into T1's team. Unfortunately, yes, the previous dragon fight was. Uh, yeah, I think, that, I think that might have been playing a small part as well. There's five members of T1 now stepping into the river. Okay, remember all those flashes we listed for Mad Lions. Oh my god, they're just going to flip. It's 2000. What? It's stolen. It's stolen. Oh, you misses the smite. All of a sudden for the fight. And he is caught once more. Goes golden in so much trouble, but Faker is the target. It's a one for two. And Guma is untouched. Finally gets the kill back onto another. But it's Seus and it's T1. They're not cleaning everything up. Oh, Yoya's got another three, four, three, but they got the Baron as well. Cannot stop this pressure. Yeah, hugely successful initiations from T1 again. They were able to chump down Niski, force him back, as well Ooh. as get the sideways ultimate out of Karzi, that Zaya not nearly as safe as, as previously, and that allows T1, even without getting kills, to get two. Here. Let's see. Siege on top side, though. They've got all five members. They should be able to bully this one down. Yeah, very quickly, in fact pouring through all five members, flashes out of the not map. You should be able to choke out Vision and set up flanks. I mean, that Umbral Grave from Ona has done so much value. It was the first item he picked up. Faker once again finds the initiation, and Goomba just melts. Hilly goes in, and that means your dragon, unless Hilly? No, I <laughs> don't think it's going to happen. I mean, right now, Niski is screaming, have you seen my bad tippers? Because I haven't. You've been oh. dead so many times oh. in these team fights. Has not had that impact. T1 will secure their third tower, their second dragon. That gold one, close enough to push towards the base, push towards those inhibitors. T1, they set their sights on the Baron. Look at that damage! Oh my word, Kazi melting Zayus. But the dredge line connects, the Dragon's Rage has been used. Bone, Skewer, Flash, Guma, there's no one to jump back on him. And Hilly's the man that's targeted down. Faker gets another. Niski uses the Alglox to buy some time, <laughs> but Guma has done it once again. JC with a slicing Maelstrom gets at least a kill back, but Mad Lions are ace. Hilly does get his Flash hook, but Karzi is clearing the ward and then they get the follow-up. And, and crucially, even though here, a lot of the dragons, and they're going to finally get the last of the outer towers. <laughs> to get behind on Guma. They can't get it, so they pull Faker. Not the man that you want to dredge line. Will connect. Cause he's pushed backwards. Dang. Moonlight Vigil gets him. He had Flash. He had Ghost. He had Featherstorm. And none of it absolutely mattered. T1 dominate once more. Faker hits those. Faker hits those. The Nautilus with the Evan Shroud damage amp and Guma finishes that kill. No problem. Dragon picked up. T1 coming for your base. JC using that flash defensively just to get away from that Q3. Running for his life. No slicing mails from the base still available. Baron still up. Chronicler T1 have pulled this game back from the jaws of defeat. Yeah, I'm flabbergasted. I've seen T1 win a lot of games in a lot of ways, but this, this is incredible. It's the fact that they go this all in on Guma a year after he had a pretty lackluster MSI. Oh man, and you know what? Between then and now, things could not look different. Nexus turret number one has fallen. Nexus turret number two has fallen. 49, 50 kills in 30 minutes. T1 strong.